Welcome to episode 41 of the Chamwada Report. And today we feature the economic relationship between Kenya and Hungary, a tiny nation in Europe. The nation's Minister for Foreign Affairs and Trade visited Kenya recently. And Hungary is set to become Kenya's new partner in the upgrading of Nairobi's mass transport system with a view to decongesting the city, among other deals in the offing. Well-organized mass public transport system uh, can change the life of a city. I also expressed uh, the uh, government and the people of Kenya's appreciation uh, to Hungary for the uh, scholarships uh, that uh, the government of Hungary has provided. Wow. Wow. Excellent. Investors from both countries are also in talks to increase trade between the two countries. Find out what they are planning. Uh, there are so many possibilities in uh, Africa and in Kenya as well. And first, the fact sheet. Hungary is a country in East Central Europe. The landlocked country is a member of the European Union. She is also a member of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD, NATO, and the Schengen area. Hungary has a population of about 10 million. The country is headed by a president and a prime minister. The current president is Janos Ader, and the premier is Viktor Orban. In Hungary, the president, who is the head of state, is elected indirectly by parliament. The prime minister, on the other hand, is appointed by the president. According to the country's constitution, the PM has to be the leader of the political party or coalition with majority seats in parliament. The PM is the chairperson of the cabinet. On to the economy now and Hungary's key economic pillars are agriculture, industry, and services. While Hungary's unemployment rate is estimated at 7.1%, Kenya's stands at 40%. Hungary's population below poverty line is 14%, while Kenya's is 43%. Life expectancy at birth in Hungary is 75 years, as compared to Kenya's 63 years. On to matters business now, and businessmen and women from both Hungary and Kenya converged at a Nairobi hotel mid-April to cement trade ties. Kenya's key exports to Hungary include flowers, vegetables, coffee and tea, through the European Union market, while Kenya imports mainly machinery, with technology transfer becoming a crucial area of interest. I would urge Hungarian investors to increase their presence in our country. There are many investment opportunities available. Uh, this includes over 182 flagship projects which we have identified in our national development blueprint as the key pillars of our economic development. And this include major infrastructure projects which, in, which require massive capital outlays, underlining the need for partnerships. Other opportunities in, in, exist in energy, in construction, in real estate, in manufacturing for value addition, in agro processing, as well as information and communication technology. Both government of Kenya and Hungary uh, understood that under the current situation of the world, we cannot afford not to use foreign policy and foreign strategy as an instrument to realize and verify the national economic interest. Both of us have open economies. The investment conference was spearheaded by the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and Industry in collaboration with its Hungarian counterpart. Hungary is an incredibly beautiful country. The city of Budapest is perhaps one of the most beautiful cities that I've been to in the world. The economic opportunities that exist between our countries, the synergy in agriculture, in ICT, and the rest are things that I would like to encourage our Kenyan business community to explore. 
Following the meeting, a joint body was formed to coordinate trade between the two countries. My name is uh, Andras Domonyai and I am an edible plant researcher and agriculture uh, innovator. My company is uh, uh, concentrating on edible plants and edible plant researching and agriculture method researching. Is this your first time in Kenya and what is your interest exactly? Uh, I have visited uh, Kenya for uh, many times uh, and uh, after uh, repeatedly uh, visiting we have realized that uh, there are so many possibilities in uh, Africa and in Kenya as well. And after we just decided that, uh, we tried to find uh, a way how could we uh, continue and how could we start uh, the edible plant and agriculture research in Africa and in Kenya uh, right now. Uh, the edible plant research means, uh, for example, we just know uh, in Kenya one type of uh, nyanyas, one type of tomato, but there are more than a uh, thousand different type of tomatoes and more than a uh, thousand different type of uh, pumpkins, what is absolutely unknown in, in the small scale agriculturers, the small scale farmers. And uh, we just uh, try to find that kind of uh, breeds, that kind of type of edible plants, what is uh, more productive, uh, what uh, could be resist uh, against the drought, and so and so. And my company uh, researching that kind of uh, uh, edible things. It's not even just tundas, not even just fruits, not even just uh, pili pilis. Uh, it's uh, spices and so many other things. What is unknown for the uh, for the uh, farmers and for the buyers uh, who are uh, using this in the kitchen. Are you already established or what stage of establishing that business are you? We right now just try to find the shamba, we try to find the garden uh, uh, to cooperate with. Uh, how could we start this kind of work? Um, uh, the, the coast side of Kenya uh, could be very interesting because the coast side right now it's not even involved uh, to the agriculture sector of Kenya uh, but the, the normal agriculture areas, uh, areas of Kenya is very interesting for us. During his one day tour the foreign affairs and trade minister of Hungary had a busy schedule with the governor of the Nairobi City County, Dr. Ivan Skidero, among the leaders he met. Stay tuned for more on the outcome of the meetings and what the economic ties between Hungary and Kenya mean to you in a one-on-one -on -one interview with the minister right after the break.